Right, yo, what's up? Welcome to the VBD podcast. We got Spin the Spot. We're here, um, a very good uh, D1 QB, and we got all the Viper. You know, a co-host because Samurai Don is sadly gonna be gone for like two weeks. He's uh, at the airport right now from the board. So uh, you can go ahead and introduce yourself if you want, Spiral. Hey guys, I'm uh, Spin the Spiral. I'm sure everyone already knows me. Uh, I've been playing for a long time. I get called Unk now. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's up guys all right so um what season did you start playing lg and who and what qb or who inspired you to become a qb so i've been playing side leagues for a long time in uh 2020 2021 and then it was season seven when i first played an lg game so it was a long time ago i want to say three years ago now so and then the first time I actually like got a team and started quarterbacking on my own was season eight. Okay. And so in season eight, like, how do you feel? You know, that's your first time quarterback in LFG. Like, how, how did you feel at that time? I mean, it was kind of goofy because uh, it was the at the time when there were 16 divisions and I had a college team. Oh, and it was just like, it was just like me and my side league friends, although You'll know some names from that team, like uh, Pabarito was on that team, and you know how you know he's very good. He's won a ring. He's been a really great DE, and uh, there are other players on that team that have made Super Bowls. But for the most part, it was like a like a side league team that was playing in LG, and <laughs> it was it was it was interesting, especially because of how garbage my mechanics were at the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, every a lot of QBs started off with bad mechanics. Even Graf told me, you know, he just had runs when he started. He said he started QBing when he was 11, you know. That's true. And also, check down Charlie started when he was 9. I mean, but anyway, so oh, so do you have any questions for uh, Spiral there? Um, yeah, actually. Um, in season 12, when you first made the playoffs with the Cowboys, like, how did that make you feel? So, I, I remember this pretty well. Um... I can tell you that there was a regular season game where we played Capital and we were down 28 points at the end of the first quarter. We were getting killed and then because we had seven players. And then at the end of the game, we rallied all the way back. One of our players, sh like our best player, showed up just before the fourth quarter. You might know the name Viridian, but he was on that team. And we came all the way back because they trolled the game away. And then when we swatted the ball in fourth down, to clinch the spot it was kind of like it, it was like you know me being i was like 16 at the time it was like an elate a feeling of elation like it was really exciting and i know it sounds stupid now but uh if you ask anyone about their first time making the playoffs or any quarterback really being a new quarterback or having been really bad for a while it's it's pretty cool to have known that you improved enough to make it yeah yeah most yeah, definitely you got I have also have another question real quick, if you don't mind. What's in up? season 20, during the Super Bowl, what was going through your head and what did that game teach you? So, see, the day the day of the Super Bowl was kind of like a blur because I, I actually didn't quarterback battle all day that day. I didn't I, I lab for like 30 minutes, but I was underprepared for that game. And... In the game, obviously, I did not have a great performance and we lost the way we did. And I guess what, I, what that game taught me is that, well, one, vision is one of the most important things a quarterback can have, but also, two, that you have to you, you have to stick to a routine or try, at least try and like, stick to a routine when you prepare for games. And we didn't do that, and that was why we lost. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was, that was yeah, that's a sad loss. So, you know, like, so this season, so talking about this season, how have you how have you played overall in this season? Like, how how do you feel like you're um have you felt like you've improved? Uh, have you felt like you uh you know done worse? You know, underperformed. So just let me know how you feel this uh season. Well, I think nine v nine. Ever since nine v nine became a thing, 
uh, with the guys that I've played with now, I think it's been a bit better. We got a uh, first round of last season, but it was kind of out of my control. And this season, I've played pretty well. We played three games, and we went 2-1. and one. We lost to Discount in a double overtime game. That was pretty crazy, but... Other than that, we beat up big or we beat a big shooter, and we beat another team that I can't remember the name of the quarterback. But uh, I feel like I'm playing good. I've only thrown two or three interceptions combined in the in the three games. I've so played pretty well, and I'm excited for how far I can go because this is like this is one of the few times right now where I think I can, add with the guys I've got and how I'm playing, I can really make another run. So I, I feel good so far about this season. Um, yeah, trivial. Do you feel like your consistency over the last couple of seasons have has gotten better or worse? The last couple of seasons, like like this era, old era, kind of. Okay, so old era versus new era. Okay, so old era. I had quarterbacks and played pretty consistently well from season 12 to season 18 with one break in between. Actually, until season 22 with a couple breaks in between. I've been playing pretty well, and I've been doing it with rosters that had been changing a lot every season. I really didn't have a, a core group of guys that stayed with me. So I was playing with completely different lineups every season. I still think I did uh, pretty good, all things considered. Oh, uh, I've made I made the Elite Eight something like six or seven times. Uh, new Era, uh, I haven't played a lot, or I really haven't played a lot in the New Era. Uh, I know you guys might not know, but uh, the first season of the New Era, we were poised to make playoffs, and I got banned over a scandal. But uh, I haven't been play I haven't played the New Era as much. I think this is only my fourth or fifth season quarterbacking out of the, what is it now, like 13 or 14 that it's been since they they switched eras. So I'd say the consistency was better then, but I think now I'm picking up my stride again and I'm becoming more consistent again, which is good. Yeah, that is good. I have another question. Is there anybody that you've seen that's on the come up that you'd like to give a shout out to? Could be any position. Any position, guys, that have been on the come up that you've been um, like, impressed with. Hmm. I'm trying to think back to past seasons. I saw what Nico him did, and I haven't played him or keep, really even keep beat him or talk to him, but he's been doing pretty well. Um. Players on the come up. Yeah, I don't know, man. Most players that I've played with now have been, have been league veterans or that have been around for a long time and the guys that I've been friends with. So I don't know about shout outs. You don't know anybody. Well, it's, I don't know about I don't know anyone. It's that I, <laughs> the guys that I know now, have all they've all like gotten past the come up stage. You're all established. Yeah. So um, I want to take it back to season 18. Um, 18. Yeah, season eighteen, the prime your prime time game against Mezzo when you were on the the 49ers? No the Yes, it yeah, was the 49ers, 49ers yeah. yeah. So like in that game, like how how were you feeling in that game? Because it was a very close game. It was a pretty close cool, I think you guys were down like one possession, I believe. Uh so how how would you how were you feeling in that game? I feel like that's a very competitive game and a very comp game. So I'm just you know, that's a question of mine. Season eighteen, 49ers versus what was it, Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee, yep. Okay. That game, I remember that game because uh, my t we were uh, we were pretty competitive in that game for the most part. Like it was tied. I had turned the ball over a few times, but it was tied going into like the third quarter, and they really pulled away. I think they pulled out to like a twenty-one point lead, and then we just kind of kept clawing our way back, and keeping ourselves in the game. But I took a safety on a final fourth and twenty-five that kind of ended it. But it was um that was like the first test for us that season and the team was good it was uh fires and guillermo were on that team and um we had hayden the cell on that team who you may not know but he was really good at one point and 
Skate was on that team and ba uh, D Dank was there, but um, um, so, so it was uh -huh. okay. Well, uh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, but it was um, it was our first test and we lost the game. But I, like going to the game, I did feel confident. Right. So going. So what about so that same season, season eighteen, that and the same people, like the same. Uh, you went against Mezzo again. So, like, what was the difference? Because what did you do worse in that game against Mezzo that was 55 to 17? Like, what Like, what did you guys do worse? Because uh, there's two games which is very... Two different scores. It was why 55-17, and then the, the first one was 56 to 49. So, like, what did you do differently in the second game? I think our, I think our team looked a little different that season. Or that, uh, that second game. I know that um, because this is kind of what happens with me is teams shift for me all the time mid-season. People leave, people come in. So our team looked a lot different, and I think we really that game was we were still working out a lot of the kinks. Like uh, Brian had left the team at that point. Um, we had brought in Tripwire and Epic Fortnite Gamer, who you guys know is Merce now, but he was just brought in. He was just learning. The game so we had a completely different look on the team and we were still working on that so really it was the it was the I mean, hayden the cell wasn't there anymore so he it was the chemistry issues and like the working out the issues in that team and then i just had a bad game against that team and when you're playing that group uh, you can't have bad games and expect to win so that was what made it a 40 point game is it was just an off game Okay, so this this is my last question unless oh it has another question. Uh no, you can go ahead. Alright, so you're good, you're done? Okay. Yeah, I'm done. So my last question is just about uh last season. Um the primetime game against uh D Dank. So I feel like that was a very calm game. You know, it was very close. Do you feel like in those uh I just wanna know what happened in those ending moments, because I really don't remember uh Unless you don't remember at all, but so that was a game that decided who made the playoffs. So it was our both of our last games of the season, and we were very like it was winner winner moves to the playoffs and loses out. And both me and Brian had played flawlessly the entire game, and it was I believe thirty four to thirty four. With under a minute left, and Brian's got the ball, and he just he throws a pick to Mike, Mikey, and we're all super excited. And then two plays later, I throw a pick right back to him because I I think I underlined like a slant or something to Luzar, and he goes down. He scores a touchdown with 15 seconds left, and we end up catching a toss and then going for two and running a jump bubble to Matthew, and we win the game. So we were obviously very excited, but. We felt at, after that game that we were kind of bailed out because of how the game ended, how we kind of had it after we got the ball and really just gave it right back to him. And that team's a very good team. Brian, for all the failures that Brian has had at quarterback in the past, he has the team he had that season, how he was playing, it was really, it was they were good. So it was, it was exciting to have beaten them, but we knew that we had gotten bailed out after that game. All right, well, thank you for your time, Spyro. I appreciate you for coming on this podcast. You know, we've, uh, we have we appreciate you, Heavy, because we we do this stuff, uh, you know, for the entertainment of LFG. You know, I know people are going to want to watch this. You know, you're a very good, very good QB, you know. And uh, I just really hope you had a fun time on this podcast. So uh, Yeah, it was fun. It's been good talking. Yeah, so, uh, all right, well, thank you guys for coming on.